everybody. How's it going? So we're at the serious side. We've got the serious shot in place. So today we are checking out the slate FG stress versus the legendary empirical labs distressor. Now, just a little bit of context. The distressor is a true classic of modern recording equipment. It's a compressor that works well on numerous sources. And I've used it on pretty much every single record I've done since the end of 2003. It's seriously been in my rack for that long. You guys have been watching me use it as an anger meter for years on this show. You can tell when I'm really pissed off because the distressor goes down into the reds and keeps everything under control and does its job and stays the fuck out of the way. So there's been a huge push to do a software version of this compressor just because it works so freaking well. And there are several iterations. I think Empirical Labs has their own software version of it and Slate has one as well. So I asked Slate, I said, hey, uh, can I check it out? And would you mind if I put it up against a real distressor? And I'm like, yeah, sure, go for it. I've always said, be careful what you ask for because you might not like the results that you get. So here we go. Here's the distressor versus the Slate FG stress. First up, snare drum. Now, I'm going to point out right here that the Distressor and the Slate FGX are set to the exact same settings. On that particular piece, we tracked the snare with the Distressor on on the way in, but I was able to molt the signal for dry just kind of as a safety net. It's something I do as a standard practice. And if you don't know what molting is, please check out my how to use a patch bay video that kind of explains everything. All right. So that's same settings on the snare drum. Two different results. Let's check it out on kick. Well, that's pretty interesting. Again, please bear in mind, these are just raw sources. There's no EQ on any of these. I want to hear the sound of the compressor and what it's doing and compare it to the software version and see what happens. Next up, and this is the important one, is room mics. This is where you can really push a distressor hard on the nuke setting. That's what it was invented for. So you can just slam the living shit out of a signal. Let's see what happens. All right, this is getting curiouser and curiouser. Okay, last up, bass guitar. And for this one, we're going to throw on that wonderful dark glass emulation software, which actually is pretty damn close to the original. But uh, let's check out hardware compressor versus the software emulation. <laughs>
Okay, so that's pretty interesting. Clearly, we're getting some pretty serious differences in sound, uh, not only on instruments, but on vocals as well. Because this voiceover right here is being put through either the distressor or the software. I'm not going to tell you which. And this piece is being put through either the hardware or the software. And I'm not going to tell you which. I want you guys to tell me what you think is what source. Is this the distressor or is this the FG stress? Is this the distressor or is this the FG stress? I want to know. I want to hear from you guys. You know what? I'm going to put a poll up in the corner here. And I want you guys to click on what you think is the stress, which is the distressor. I'm going to make one A and the other B, so that way you can kind of keep track and hopefully determine a particular signature sound for either one. Again, remember, everything's set up for the same input, output, attack, release, distortion modes, you freaking name it. Anyway, let me know what you think, and I'll get back to you next week with the results. See you next time.